Good morning. Today is Friday. I'm Tim Archer, and we are reading through the New Testament. Today we're reading John chapter 7. John chapter 7. You can go to timothyarcher.com if you want to see the readings for the week. Readings for next week I'll put up too. Uh, John 7 is a very confused chapter. That is, the people that we see in John 7 are very confused. They all have their ideas about who Jesus should be and why Jesus can't be who he is. You know, his brothers say, if you want to be famous, you need to do this. And the people say, well, he can't be the Messiah because of this. And and then at the end, the Pharisees say, well, only the common people have believed in him and they're under a curse. Oh, wow. We need to let God tell us who God is. We need to let Jesus tell us who he is. I, I hear it today. People say, you know, well, you know, I know that God can't be that way. And I know that since God is loved, then this can't be true. And I know that since God values people, well, this can't be true. People, we're humans and we're limited. And we've got to let God tell us who God is. Let, let God be God, as expression is. He is the great I am, and he knows who he is, and he will tell us who he is. It's up to us to accept who he is, not dictate who he should be. That's our task for today. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for this Friday. We thank you for a chance to live for you. We pray that today you will guide our steps and help us to be who you want us to be. Be with the people who are struggling with consequences from this pandemic and be with the uh, society as it fights over over everything it can find father i pray that people will turn away from the political parties because the political parties are only dividing us and especially your people will stop being republicans and democrats but will only be christians only christians who happen to maybe support the views of some political party, but they will recognize that what unites us as Christians is greater than what divides us as Democrats and Republicans. And, and I pray that we can overcome all that. I pray for the hurting and the sick. And Father, I pray that you will reveal yourself to us through your word, through your creation, through other Christians, and that we may have open minds and open hearts to learn who you are. It's our prayer. In the name of Jesus, amen. I hope you have a great Friday.